Hello everyone. Ready for another episode of Visual Mnemonics for Net. I hope you loved the first episode. Okay, here is your first question. Name the French play by Ionesco. Okay, Eugene Ionesco. That featured the character Berenger for the first time. Oh, what is he doing here? He's going to kill somebody. Oh, what is the name of the French play? It is The Killer. It is the first of the Berenger plays. In Ionesco's plays, this character keeps recurring. And he is Ionesco's downtrodden everyman. In the play The Killer, he discovers a radiant city or a transcendent other world. Remember The Killer. Berenger discovers a radiant city that is also a recurring element in Ionesco's plays. The Killer by Eugene Ionesco. The first of the Berenger plays. Rhinoceros is another Berenger play. Okay, second question. Which is the first posthumously published short story by Franz Kafka? Oh, what is this long, long road through the mountains? Are this is not a road. It is a wall. Oh, I got it. It is a Great Wall of China by Franz Kafka. It is a short story that describes the building of the Great Wall of China in small bits and pieces. And it contains a section called A Message from the Emperor. Okay, everything great is built in small bits and pieces. And there's always an emperor. He is talking about power here. Kafka in the short story, The Great Wall of China. The West Indies or Caribbean Islands. It is Derek Walcott. Hey, he's a traveler. Of course, this is a travel book we are talking about. He's a traveler and what did he get? Gold. What could be the travel book? It is The Fortunate Traveler by Derek Walcott. This travelogue explores Walcott's own situation as a black writer in America. And he has become increasingly estranged from his Caribbean homeland. He is now estranged from his homeland. The Fortunate Traveler by Derek Walcott. Fifth question, name the non-fiction work written by V.S. Napal for the Charles Douglas Home Memorial Trust in 1999. What is the name of the non-fiction work? Is it Boy and Girl? Mm -hmm. No, that can be. Is it School Children? No. Is it Writing and Reading? Maybe. V.S. Nepal wrote not writing and reading, but reading and writing. V.S. Nepal wrote reading and writing, a personal account. He gives an account of how a person inclines to get into the game of reading and writing. We get into the game of reading and writing. Will you remember that? ta -da -da This is by V.S. Nepal. Okay, next question. Name the book by Derrida. Jacques Derrida which was originally a series of seminars presented in Paris in 1996. Paris. Is it the restaurant? Is it lunch? Uh -huh. Is it about hospitality maybe? Let us see the answer. What is the book by Jacques Derrida? It is of hospitality. Mm -hmm. Derrida wrote of hospitality, a book that combines careful readings of canonical texts. Derrida is carefully reading major canonical texts, combining them with philosophical topics, of course. That is what Derrida always does. With attention to the most salient events in the contemporary world. Of Hospitality by Jacques Derrida. We won't forget that one, will we? Next question is identify the novel by William Faulkner that revolves around the lives of barnstorming and racing pilots. Is it electricity? No. Is it setting sun? What did William Faulkner write? Maybe it is Pylon. Because remember the 1930s poets like W.H. Arden, Stephen Spender, they wrote about pylons and industrial imagery. Pylon is this mechanism that is used in electrical transmission. Let us see the answer, guys. Pylon, 1935 novel by William Faulkner. 
Pylon is set in New Veloy, a fictionalized version of New Orleans. And it is one of Faulkner's few novels set outside Yoknapatafa County. Faulkner's novels are all set in Yoknapatafa. Usually, Pylon is not. Pylon by William Faulkner. Okay, next question. Name the typically Canadian poem by E.J. Pratt. E.J. Pratt was a Canadian poet. Typically Canadian poem that deals with collision of forces between nature and people. What a scene here. It's Titanic. They go, maybe E.J. Pratt's poem is called Titanic. Definitely, guys. One thing I can tell you. E.J. Pratt always wrote a lot about nature and people. He was a poet from Newfoundland in Canada. Now, what is this poem? It is called The Titanic. Hey, there's another poem about the Titanic by Thomas Hardy, The Convergence of the Twain, okay? Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate, Kate Winslet converging in the Titanic, The Convergence of the Twain by Thomas Hardy. Will you remember that? The Titanic is by E.J. Pratt. Name the modern retelling of a Shakespearean play by Ian e. McEwan. Oh, I know. It is called Walnut. Is it called Walnut? It was published in 2016. Let us see. Oh my God, it is called Nutshell. A 2016 novel by Ian e. McEwan. It's a modern retelling of Hamlet from the point of view of an unborn child. How macabre, how gross. Ian McEwan wrote a lot of novels like that. Macabre novels. The Simon Garden. Comfort of Strangers. Comfort of Strangers. Remember, also Nutshell based on Hamlet. And now the last question to you. Which play portrays the last stage of Oscar Wilde's life? I know. It is called Jesus Christ. Hey. Is there a play called Jesus Christ? Hey, no. Who is kissing him? It is the Judas Kiss, the Judas Kiss by David Hare. This play deals with the scandal and disgrace Oscar Wilde met with at the hands of his young lover, bossy, homosexual relationship. The Judas Kiss by David Hare. Will you remember? Yes. So that brings us to the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed every bit of it. Happy studying.